Hello everybody, welcome to our introductory video for Barrage. So quite clearly, Barrage is a epic cinematic uh, ensemble percussion based sample library. This is an uh, instrument for Contact 5, uh, specifically 5.5.1, the full version of, of Contact. The library is divided into three primary sections, uh, the first being the ensemble hits, which is our, our primary focus with the library, uh, some single drum samples, and then uh, sound designed Percussion. <clears throat> so getting into the ensemble drums first, uh, I'll give you a quick overview of the interface, which is uh, generally the same for most of the categories. Um, you have a filter, low pass, band pass, uh, high pass filters, a four band EQ. We have uh, uh, some master section control, stereo width, overall gain. Uh, we have an envelope section with attack and release, and then effect section with four built in effects. We have slam, which is a combination of uh, transient shaping and compression. Crush, which is a saturation distortion. Delay, which is a typical delay with musical sync to musical values for delay time. And then we have a convolution reverb with uh, some hand-picked presets that we think work pretty well with the library. You have a front panel mixer control setting here. Um, three microphone perspectives. Uh, this library was recorded in a scoring stage environment, so <clears throat> we have the close mic on the on the drums and the ensembles. Your stage mic, which is a combination of your deco tree microphones and some mid mics, <clears throat> and then your hall mix, which is your surrounds and your wide mics. You can <clears throat> unload the samples for any one of these uh, mix perspectives by simply clicking on the title of the mix. And of course, you've got some volume controls here and then mute and solo functions for each mix. The Ensemble Designer, which is the first preset in the category, also has a second page, the Ensemble Designer page. Now, this is really the, the, the focus of, of what we're doing with the library here. You are basically creating an ensemble out of these various categories. <clears throat> so you've got four vertical categories that comprise the ensemble. You've got your sub hits, which is basically low end stuff, your hits, which are your primary ensembles that you're, you're stacking, and then your accent, uh, accent elements, which could be like an anvil hit, a snare hit, something to really accent the hit overall, and then some tails, which are some sound designed uh, elements here that, that will work pretty cool as a, as a tail to a big hit. So what we've got here clearly uh, right now is we have a bass drum on the sub end, that corresponds to the first key, the, the green key down here. You have your primary hit elements. In this case, we've got Serdos and Tycos loaded up, and these are the blue keys. They're mapped side by side so that you can perform rolls on them. They're, they're not really meant to be played simultaneously, but uh, to facilitate doing rolls or, or uh, you know, types of fast progressions that you want to do, they're mapped side by side. The accents correspond to the red keys. Uh, in the terms of the snare, it's side by side. The other elements are single key maps, so you get a different element on each red key. Um, and then tails, they're single key mapped as well. Some of them have uh, several categories um, of hits mapped there. So we'll give a quick listen to what we've got mapped here right now. That's the uh, all three of the lower elements and then a, a tail if we want to add a tail. <laughs> So you can see, uh, not only can you create a nice big hit with all these elements, you can you can perform a little bit of a, a, a rhythm with them as well. Um, <clears throat> and we'll take a quick listen to a couple of the other categories of sounds that we've got here. Just come up with some different little combinations. So here we've got a gong drum. Uh, we have a couple of effects subs, which are really low sort of sound design sub hits, really give a good emphasis. Um, some tango drums here with giant ceremonial Chinese tango drums that, that go well with the taikos and a snare hit for your accent. Really gives a nice, nice, serious hit there. Um, 
some of these elements also uh, you can you can tell are some of our decayers. Some of these have some rhythmic elements. All the rhythmic elements and the hit tails are, are tempo synced also. There's some serious nice big hits here. Uh, you know, you can stack as many different things as you want here. You can come up with any combination of things, you know. Also, each four categories has their own independent volume control that will control just that specific category and everything that goes into that category. So if you're finding that your accents are too loud, you can adjust that or the tails. And again, the three microphone mix also applies to all of the instruments. pretty good control over over everything there. So that's the ensemble designer in a, in a nutshell. And again, this was the primary focus of the library, our initial conception. We wanted to come up with something that was fun, easy to put together. All the samples are, are edited and cut in a way that, that you can play a giant hit. You're not going to get a bunch of weird flaming or have to adjust anything. It's all, it's all right there. In fact, the entire library is actually cut that way. So you can load up single drums with the ensemble designer in the same contact instance and create some big hits and everything will line up pretty well. <clears throat> Going into the next category here, um, the single drums, we have a few more elements that you don't get in the ensemble category, but for the most part, most of the ensemble elements are here recorded in a single drum fashion. And uh, <clears throat> some of them include various brushes, mallets, uh, rim shots and different different types of hits here. So, uh, for instance, the the jun jun and rolls. Most of the single drums also have rolls, which are controlled by the Mokdo. So here, and then we've got some brushes, mallets in the case of the jun jun. So you get some, some different categories here. Now you'll notice in the single drum categories, of course, the ensemble designer button is no longer present. Um, these are all just single patches in and of themselves. Uh, here is another example for the, for the Tyco. So you've got some various different types of articulations here. Um, the single drums category uh, also includes some other elements that we recorded primarily for accent elements in the ensemble, um, but we've we've gone a little bit further with some of these here. So you've got several different types of hits. So metals, for instance, uh, dark blue keys, you have anvil hits. Generally, these are mapped to be sort of ringing out a little bit more on the low end of the range, and then, as you see, the break drum also, and then up at the top of the range, a little bit more of a muted type of hit. And then we've, of course, got some cymbals, some snares, and then uh, several other drums here. Uh, I'll move along to, to keep this brief here, but a lot of stuff that's really worth checking out. The last category is the sound design percussion. <clears throat> this is basically processed elements uh, taken from the core uh, samples of, of the library that comprise the other, other sections here that we've reprocessed, we've remixed. Um, in some cases, we've morphed them with some synthesized elements, some electronic elements, or just really mangled and twisted the samples. So our first patch here is the, the drum again patch. This is kind of our, our big granddaddy super giant hit patch. Some really good stuff that you'll hear in this patch. You'll notice there's a few different map sections here. <clears throat> the dark blue keys are just really big epic hits. The light blue keys are something that we have 
uh, created here that are basically they're big hits and then side by side to the big hit is an accented version of that big hit. So for instance, the big hit and then an accent on that. So you can kind of get a little bit of variety. So you get a nice variety there with the with these accents. The, the last section that you'll see here is the yellow keys. These are um, basically what we call roll hits, which are a looped roll that's controlled by the mod wheel into a hit. So these give you a, a creative way of, of uh, crescendoing into a hit, and it can be as long as short as you need. If you need it to be two measures long, you, you can create that with the, the mod wheel, or two beats long. It could be a fast fast roll or slow roll into a, into a giant hit on the release of the note. So that's a fun, fun category. This is a <clears throat> great patch for really epic, big, cinematic, rumbling the seats kind of stuff. Um, we have a few other patches here. Mega Metals is our sort of metallic. <laughs> Metallic oriented, basically metallic oriented sounds. Uh, boom thwax is another category that's it's a great sound design category. These are basically uh, swooshes, sort of reversed swooshes into a big hit, all in the one sample, all sound designed together to be a cohesive element. So we'll check this out. So that's your, your boom thwax. We also have a few other elements here. Uh, electrolysis is sort of really twisted electronic sounds. Uh, Subchaos, as it implies, is very basically super low end processed sub hits that really make for a nice accent on top of a big hit or, or another element. Really good stuff to, to rumble the seats under a big hit. Or actually, they're pretty fun and just ominous to play by themselves too. Uh, last category here is reverserized, as the name implies. This is basically reverse elements work well for getting into a downbeat or a, some part of your cue that really needs just accentuation. Basically lower end stuff at the bottom, higher end stuff at the top. So in a nutshell, that is Barrage. We hope you have enjoyed this walkthrough and care to check out the library. We had a lot of fun making this. Uh, it's some really big, epic, really fun stuff to play. And uh, we hope you guys will all enjoy it. So thank you for checking us out. Uh, check out our Facebook page and our website. And we also will have audio demos for Barrage posted on the product page. Thanks a lot. Take care. Huh?